guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use astrology to better enhance your relationship. So this can be used with a romantic relationship and that's where it's especially going to come in handy, but you can also use this with family and close friends. And this isn't just going to better enhance your relationship. What this is really going to do is it's going to help you to understand the other person, which will help you strengthen your bond with them. This is also going to come in a lot of handy if you are finding yourself feeling misunderstood or disconnected from your person and also in a time of conflict. This is really going to help you navigate through that so much easier and ultimately become closer and more understanding of one another. Aside from that, this is also going to show you what it is that you need in order to feel emotionally fulfilled. So this is very, very useful. We're gonna do this just by looking at two very simple placements in a birth chart. This is really very basic astrology. What I notice when it comes to people not believing in astrology is that they just simply don't understand it. And there is a lot that goes into it. Looking at a birth chart has so much information. You really do kind of have to dissect the whole thing to get a really good picture. But when you do look at a birth chart and you look at all of it, it really provides you with a crystal clear picture of the type of person someone is or the type of person you are and how you react in certain situations, what you need in order to feel good. There is an insane amount of information you can gather by looking at just a few different parts of a birth chart. So for example, you can find the career that is best suited for you. You can see the types of relationships you'll have, if you'll get married, if you'll have children, if you'll get a divorce, if you'll have more than one marriage. It's also going to show you the areas that you have a lot of strengths and weaknesses in. It will show you what areas to gravitate more towards. It will show you what areas that you should move away from in order to reach your full potential and just ultimately be your happiest. So what I always tell people, especially if you are having a hard time understanding or believing in astrology, remove the mysticism out of it. That's really my goal with teaching people about astrology. It doesn't have to be mystical. It doesn't have to be occult and mysterious. Essentially what it is, is it is a map and a set of tools that you can use to enhance your life, your relationships, your strengths, and work on your weaknesses. So in this video, I'm going to show you two really simple ways to better enhance your relationships and strengthen the bonds you have with your loved ones. If you still don't understand after me saying that why astrology is useful and it is a free tool given to us, rewind and listen to what I just said. <laughs> So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the two simple ways that you can use astrology to enhance your relationship. So the first placement that we are going to be talking about is a placement that I talk about all of the time. And we could really make this video just about this placement. And that is your moon sign. Your moon sign is so important. I really believe that out of every placement in your chart, your moon sign is the most important placement that you need to know. What zodiac sign the moon was in at the time you were born. The reason why your moon sign is so important is because we know that it represents our emotions, but it's a lot deeper than that. Your moon sign represents the personality that you have when you are at your most comfortable and your most vulnerable. So who sees us when we are at our most comfortable? Our romantic partner, our family, and our closest friends. An acquaintance is probably not going to see that side of you because that side comes out only when you feel comfortable to let your guard down and truly be yourself humans tend to make the majority of their decisions from their heart and emotions are such a powerful part of who we are our emotions really kind of control and drive us in life 
Have you ever met someone and you started to hang out, you started to talk, you guys really get along and you really like this person in a month or two months go by and you start to get really comfortable with them and all of a sudden you see a completely different side of them come out and you might be thinking, wow, this person is a lot more emotional than I thought or this person is a lot more insensitive or clingy or closed off than I had seen in the beginning. It can even throw you for a loop because it might result in you feeling like you're receiving mixed signals. What's actually happening is you're seeing who that person really is. I always tell people to beware because when you first meet someone, you are meeting their rising sign and their sun sign, which is the way you come off to other people and the general traits of your personality. So we can find ourselves feeling very misunderstood or like our emotional needs are not being met. And if you look at your and your partner's moon sign, that's gonna be the key to finding a lot of harmony and understanding in your relationship. Depending on what sign your moon is in, in comparison to your sun, your rising, and other areas of your chart, you can find that there are a lot of different types of personality that are within someone. But at the end of the day, your moon sign is really who you truly are. And if you're gonna be in it for the long haul with somebody, that is the side of them that you're going to see the most. So for example, if your moon is in an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, it is likely that when it comes to your emotions, you may be a bit emotionally detached. When a intense emotion is brought out in you, you very likely are somebody that likes to isolate and then analyze with your logical mind how you're feeling and the situation in general. Versus if your moon is in a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you are somebody that is incredibly emotional and you act, feel, think, and really operate from your emotions and from your heart. If your moon is in a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and you are somebody that is very, very blunt, you probably need a lot of admiration when it comes to romance and your emotions. You have very intense emotions and emotions that could even almost kind of scare somebody away because they are so in your face and intense. And if you have a moon in an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, you are somebody that on an emotional level, you need to feel very secure, you need stability, and you need a very solid foundation. So to give an example, if you have a moon in Aquarius, you are definitely somebody that likes to isolate and analyze. You don't really like to show your emotions very well and you need time to retreat and be by yourself to analyze how you're feeling. So if you're in a relationship with someone whose moon is in a very emotional water sign like cancer, that person needs reassurance. They need nurturing. They need emotional support. They need you to be there in the present moment to let them know that they're feeling heard and understood. They really need a sense of compassion and gentleness with how you treat their emotions. So as you see, those are two kind of conflicting ways of feeling and being. But if you are aware that that is how the other person operates, because you're not going to be able to change that. It's really part of just who they are on like a chemical DNA type of level. It doesn't mean that the relationship is doomed, but now you have the tools to understand how the other person feels and processes emotions understand what they need to feel like their emotional needs are being met. And you can find the similarities that you guys can kind of latch onto and use to strengthen the bond. And then you also know the other areas that that person needs to be met in order to feel understood and emotionally secure. This is really gonna save you so much confusion and just feeling disconnected and misunderstood. If you take a look at your moon sign, it really is going to be so, so beneficial in understanding yourself and what you need, and then being able to communicate to your partner what it is that you need, because otherwise they are just clueless and they don't know, they don't understand 
what you need to feel emotionally secure. I will tell you that knowing the moon signs of the people I love, it helps me understand them so much better. And that results in me not feeling resentful, not being mad at them for not understanding me. And it really helps me just get such a better idea of what it is that they need from me. And I'm telling you, this will bring so much harmony into your relationship. And again, just simply understanding each other. As we dive into the second placement we're gonna look at, you are going to see why it is so, so, so important to know these two placements. So the second placement we're gonna look at is what sign your Mercury is in. Mercury is the planet of communication. So this reflects how you process information, how you communicate, and by looking at your partners, you will be able to see what type of communication they are most receptive to and how they need you to communicate with them in order for them to just feel like you understand what's going on in their head. So the reason why it's so important to look at these two things, I'm gonna give an example. Let's say that your Mercury is in Aries. So Aries is a very blunt and passionate fire sign. Aries tells it how it is. Aries is also very confident. So if your Mercury is in Aries, that means that the way that you speak and the way that you express yourself is going to be confident, intense, blunt. It can even be a little harsh at times. But if your moon is in Pisces, for example, Pisces is a sign that can be very insecure, very clingy, and they can get their feelings hurt really easily. So I want you to think about that because if your partner has a fire sign as their Mercury and a water sign as their moon, then when they are coming across very blunt and very confident in what they're saying, what really might be going on underneath the surface is that they might be feeling really, really sensitive, insecure, and like they really just want you to kind of nurture them, even though they're coming off in a way that doesn't seem like that at all. Another example, let's say that your partner has Mercury in an earth sign like Taurus. The way they communicate might come off as being stubborn, but also nurturing and very stable, very secure. They might seem very, very sure of themselves and set in their belief. But if their moon is in an air sign such as Libra, Libra does tend to be indecisive. So now we have somebody expressing themselves in a way that comes off as very stubborn and unwilling to change their mind but what's underneath the surface, they actually might be feeling really, really indecisive. So again, we have conflicting energies that are being presented to you that you might just feel really confused and really lost and like you just can't get into their head and really understand what's going on. So those are the two placements that I am encouraging you to go take a look at. All you need to do to find these and to generate your birth chart is either download an app such as CoStar, which is now available for Android, by the way. When I talked about CoStar, I think in like my first video, it was only in the Apple Store, but now it is available for Android. But there are a lot of other apps you can download to generate your birth chart. You can even just go into Google and type in birth chart calculator. There are a million free ones that will generate your entire chart for you and usually give a whole lot of insights on all of the different placements. All you need to know is your birthday, the time you were born as accurate as you can get it, and then the time zone or the city that you were born in. I promise you this is such a powerful tool to better understand the person that you are in a relationship with or your family or your close friends. It is so eye-opening and something that always cracks me up is people will laugh at astrology or tell me that it's a bunch of baloney and then I'll pull up their birth chart and I'll start telling them about themselves and they, every single time, every single time, the person will go, that is actually pretty accurate. <laughs> so I really hope that this helps you guys. It really is gonna help you understand yourself and the people in your life so much better and it's just ultimately going to help you to better navigate your relationships and it's going to help you to nurture your loved ones and give them what it is that they need in order to feel secure and heard and understood so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this 
hit that subscribe button down below and let me know if you want to see more astrology videos like this. There are a lot of other placements we can look at and you can find out even more awesome information about yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I will see you in my next video.